about to give you 10 hacks that are gonna take your maps to the next level. Let's get right into it. Okay, the first hack is to make sure you're always choosing the right default island. There are a ton of different islands you can choose in this menu. Don't waste time making terrain you don't have to make. A good example of this is in my Teen Titan Towers map I did right here. I built this in just like an hour, but it would have been a waste of time to build out the entire ocean. So I just chose the ocean map, the one with the little island in the middle of it. You can see here's like the edge of it. Let's see if we can see it. It's just down, I'm like right down here under it. But that saved me so much time not having to build all of the water out so that I would only have to build a little bit of terrain that the tower sat on. And then I had a really cool map that I built in just like an hour versus having to do all of that would have taken an extra 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes. This is a very simple example. You're gonna save a ton of time on your build that you otherwise would be wasting just by selecting the right default island. All right, my next hack is to really play around with the lighting in your maps. Here's a good example right here. This is the planet Vormir from the Avengers movies. This is where they find one of the Infinity Stones. I don't wanna say any spoilers here, but this is where one of the Infinity Stones is. I built this map in a short a while ago. That's why you're seeing some vertical videos here and there. This map is actually kind of junky if I take the lighting off of it. So let me just turn this off real quick. So there we go. Here's the map without the lighting, right? It just doesn't look quite the same. Uh, I mean, all of the terrain looks kind of scuffed. Uh, my moon up here is just a big black dot. I mean, it's fine, but it's just not great. There's not even a sun behind it. But because I used the Sky Dome device, now this map becomes something amazing and so much better because I played around with lighting. I mean, now look at these like awesome like lens flares I'm getting and the cool sun back there. This starts to feel like something epic and amazing. And the only thing I did on this was change the lighting. All right, my next hack is about terrain. I'm gonna use the Leaf Village here as an example. I built this with Word Andrew and Kerma a while ago in a four hour build challenge, but we built the entire Leaf Village, which is from the anime Naruto, which I'm super excited about his skin coming out this week. But as I was building it, it totally just felt wrong without having the terrain in the background. If you fly up to this terrain, you're gonna see it's not that great. Like I threw this whole mountain here together in just like a minute. But then what I did is I copied and pasted this all the way around the city. And in a matter of 10, 15 minutes, I created a backdrop to this map that made it look way more more epic. Like if you were running around down here and you didn't see the mountains in the background, it just wouldn't feel the same. It would feel empty and I, I don't know, it just wouldn't feel as good. Adding these kinds of layers, like even with the like trees going up through the mountains up there, those kind of layers are the details that takes your map to the next level. So throw in some background terrain and your maps are going to look so much better. Since we're talking about Naruto, let's go to Ichiraku's noodle house here that I built for a short earlier. And what I want to talk about with this is details. This is a cool build because the house is really cool and I have like a little bit of a custom roof here and some custom windows and things which we'll talk about in just a second. For me, what really makes this stand out and it's like clearly Ichiraku's noodle house is the characters I put up here. It's these little details like this that make your maps really pop. And even this is if you go inside of here and look around, there's just details that people aren't even gonna see here. I've got the kitchen back here and everything. It makes the build feel more full and it helps people immerse into your map when you have these kind of details. Okay, now let's talk about when you can't find the prop you want. So often you're left looking through galleries and things that you just want to find the right window or doorway or desk or something. Sometimes you just need to make it yourself. This is the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's house. And I had to do a lot of custom things on this. Like I had to make all of this at the top. I mean, if you look really close, you can see kind of how scuffed it is. But from a distance, looks pretty dang good. Also, even like the windows. I could not find the windows I wanted, so I had to custom make it. You can see here, I'm gonna pull this. Uh, glass off for a second that I custom made all of the window panes with primitive galleries and then added some glass on top and now I've got this really cool window and now this build looks so much better because I have custom windows custom doors custom top pieces it's just turning out so much better than finding some gallery piece that just doesn't quite work this build will look so lame if I were using that window instead of those windows similarly like in my office build here I built my own custom desk because I couldn't find what I wanted take time to just custom make what you need and it's gonna make your build so much better. Okay, my next tip I can kind of show with this build is don't waste time on stuff that people aren't going to see. So you can notice here, this build is not really complete. The whole purpose of this build was just to show the front of the house and clearly not the back or the inside of the house. Similarly, I built Laura Croft's manor here for when the Laura Croft skin came out and I didn't waste time on anything but what people were going to see. Like I knew they were gonna be running back here and seeing the backside of the house. Like I've wasted a ton of time on maps on things that people just aren't gonna see I mean even like this whole side of the house I probably shouldn't have built 
would also save you a ton of memory by not having to place all these different pieces down on something that's really just a waste of space and time. Okay, for my next hack, I'm gonna show this map right here. This is the 1v1 map I made a little while ago when like Ryu and Chun-Li came out and I built Ryu's whole city here. Now there's quite a few custom buildings in this build. Like this main building here is all custom. These big buildings here are all custom, but I wanted to fill in this city fast. So I actually used quite a few prefabs to just fill in the gaps here. So this is a complete prefab here. You can even see a lot of the details are in here. <laughs> like I didn't even delete some of the like furniture in here that no one's ever going to see. Mostly because I was fine on memory, but this saved me so much time to just throw down these prefabs to really fill in my island. This city feels so much cooler now because of all of those prefabs that are all over this map. I mean, even this giant temple here is just a prefab on top. And then I just built it out a little bit more further down. Prefabs sometimes get a bad name. Like I've seen prefabs used in maps before and people are like, oh, he just used the prefab. It's okay to use them sometimes because it's going to speed up your builds exponentially. All right, for this next hack, I'm going to show off my Koopa Troopa beach map here I made a while ago. This is a race map and this entire island is custom made. As you can see, some of my terrain here has some lines in it. I wasn't too worried about these lines in this map because people were going to be facing this way and you don't see lines at all as you're driving through the course. I mean, you do a little bit and that's kind of where my next hack is. And all of the curves, it was really hard to place all of this terrain. I mean, you can see right here how difficult it was to place some of this terrain down and some of this when you get out further, you can see how scuffed this is. Once again, it doesn't really matter because people are driving by quickly and they're not really looking. But right here, if you pick some of this up, you're going to see how difficult it was to place some of this terrain down. So I came up with a different solution. Instead of painstakingly placing down all of that terrain, I just placed down a new terrain piece to make it look more seamless. And even here, if you pick up some of these rocks, you're going to see there's just a lot of mistakes here. Like this terrain is terrible. So instead of piecing it all together perfect, I just put some rocks and terrain pieces over it to make it look more natural. And actually, this is perfect for this race because the cars come and launch off of this around the corner. It actually makes it way more fun. Same thing right over here. I did the same trick to cover up some of my mistakes with the different rock pieces. And not only does it like cover up these mistakes, it makes it more beautiful. It's something I use all the time. Okay, this next hack I've talked about a lot on my channel. And this is Thanos' farm from the Avengers movies. But one thing I really wanted to get right in his farm was the scale of this. My tip here is to outline everything you're gonna build before you build it. You can see here my outline that I did for this farm and then I just built around it. I find that when I don't outline things, things always tend to be bigger than I want them to be. You want it to be to scale so that when you're done building it, you don't have to resize everything. My last hack is the most important. Build things that bring you joy. All of the builds I showed you today are things that I love, things that I wanted to make. All of these things I had a ton of fun making and it brought me so much joy. Map making can be a drag sometimes when you're building something that you don't want to build. Sometimes you get lost in the numbers or whatever, but I recommend build things you love. If you do that, you're gonna have way more fun playing this game.